see that I can see all the way through to the other side. And if I if if a kid hits a ball under here, you can go get it. If an animal is building a nest under here, you can see it and clean it out. But this is a truly ventilated crawl space. And you would not want to cover this up in any way for it to stay um, durable. But I do want to point out, do you see the staining on this? Seagull with AvoidingMold.com and I'm going to be talking about temporary shelters today and so I am at a yurt here you can see what a yurt is it's basically a prefabricated structure that's a bit like a tent but the coat the the surround is all insulated and I believe the floor is insulated and there is a floor but it's up on a platform and this is about the only kind of crawl space that I think is going to be okay vented um, so in this case, you can see that it's up off the ground. This particular yurt is handicapped accessible. So you can see the ground is high over here and they were able to do a concrete ramp that's pretty level to enter into the yurt. And you can see the ground drops away. So they picked a spot where the ground drops away and then the ground continues to drop away down the hill. I'm actually in the Moab area. This is Dead Horse Point State Park in Utah. Um, and so the drainage is really good. There won't be any water sitting underneath here. But I also want to point out how this is constructed. So that you can see a few things. So you can see it's up on concrete piers. And then these are glue lamb beams. And so for this particular one, there's one, two, three, four glue lamb beams. And then in between the beams, the flooring is being held up by uh, two by fours spanning the um the glue lamp beams and then there's stru there's structural bracing there's lateral bracing you can see the diagonal so that's partly what that is and then you can see that i can see all the way through to the other side and if i if if a kid hits a ball under here you can go get it if an animal is building a nest under here you can see it and clean it out but this is a truly ventilated crawl space and you would not want to cover this up in any way for it to stay um, durable but I do want to point out, do you see the staining on these? These are getting wet. And this is a part of the country that gets 9% or 9 inches of rain a year. It's basically a desert. The humidity is very low, but you can still see the water staining on this wood. Now, this isn't going to be a problem for this wood, but actually this end grain should be covered uh, with, a, with a spacer for air movement. I have uh, talked about that in my Moisture Matters webinar. But you need air movement and it should be covered because the end grain is where the water soaks in. But you can also see if you, I have some pictures maybe I can show you, I don't know if I can show you in this video. But this is a plastic decking up here. It is have spacers and water goes in between it. You can see the staining on the two by fours. But again, it's mostly dirt and it's not really a big problem in a place like a desert. Uh, but the end grain I definitely would cover. And then the other things I just want to point out is, if you can look closely here, this is metal railing. We are in the desert and the metal railing is rusting and corroding. So there is no, much you can see this, this is all rust. And this will need maintenance and coating, but you can see, especially on the edges, that you know moisture, even a little bit in the desert, even steel in the desert, is not completely durable and has potential for effects from moisture, even a little bit. So if we come around this side, the other things I just want to show you on this here is so it has a heat pump there. It does have windows that open with flaps. They zip down now. It has a skylight. I don't know if the skylight is ventilated. I think that would be optimal. Um, it has a front and a back door. And then you can see a gas line is right there. It's coming up from the ground. So. Even if you have a propane tank, which is what they have down the hill, uh, gas lines and water lines and electric lines always come from below. And so if you're in a place that's freezing, you won't be able to have any water lines in here because it's completely open underneath. And then on the other side is an electric line. They have a gas grill up there. So this is how a yurt works. You could make something like this of your own. If you need a temporary place to live, I suggest building a platform like this and putting a tent on it and maybe building an, uh, a canopy over it. 
So just one idea. There's lots of ways to live temporarily. Um, this is one and uh, I hope this is helpful. If you want to find out more, like and subscribe. Check out my website, avoidingmold.com. If you need individual help, you can find a way to schedule that there. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit subscribe. For more free information on safe building, avoiding mold, and water damage, visit avoidingmold.com.